everybody, welcome back to the Sports Blitz. Okay, one team that's done okay, that has some really big expectations, but I don't think we've seen their full power, the West Oso Bears. Yeah, West Oso, one of those high power offense from last season, and we yeah. keep waiting I feel like for them to go out there and explode offensively, you know yeah. the talents there. We just keep waiting for that. Yeah, it's a team that went to the third round last year, lost to the eventual state champion Cuero Gobblers, and so you know uh, Pequahardo's team, like you said, still trying to kind of get yeah. it going. So let's take a look their game tonight, taking on the San Diego Vaqueros, and we pick it up in the second quarter. It's only six nothing San Diego. West Oso trying to get something going. Cameron Williams, the big guy on the run, and hey, good game. Puts also pretty good field position at their own 40. But here, Malachi Flora is going to be tipped and picked off his receiver's hands right to San Diego's Bobby Nunez. Nunez getting a decent little return there. Now, the San Diego drive would stall, so later in the quarter, we're kind of getting close to halftime, but Flores, gonna, he, he was intercepted on the other one. Said, oh, I'm just going to take it with my legs, and he's going to get a decent gain, shoved out of bounds. Coach Pete Guajardo yeah, trying to plead his case, but later, Flores again, and watch this, Blitz Play of the Week nominee. In fact, this is from our Blitz Play of the Year winner last year. Oh. Look at the interception, Sergio Guetta. Oh. His hands are ridiculous. He caught a crazy All one State. last year. Yep, All State did right it there. again yep. with that. Man, Coach Bo Ochoa's got to like that. Then Romeo Ramirez with a big first down here. Let's take a look at the final. This one a close ball game, but San Diego pulls away late 28-14. Your final. All right, let's head out to JP the second. This game, Chris, bonkers. This one went down to the wire. John Paul hosting London after a location change due to the rain. So London now on the road. Late second quarter, London looking to build on its seven-point lead. Ty Leonard chucking it deep. Donye Castaneda. Comes down with it. So the Pirates looking to take a big lead into halftime. They're set up nicely in the red zone here where they let Arnold finish it off. Arnold Navarija, Navarijo, excuse me, gives the Pirates a 14 point lead. So John Paul would put together a crazy final minute in the first half. Two minute drill. So JP throwing the ball. Quarterback Aiden Olivo improvising. He sheds off a tackle. Watch him go. Play of the week. Nominee wow. gets the Centurions within a score, so now there's about 40 seconds left in the game. And remember, I said this final mi minute was bonkers. So following kickoff for John Paul, Jose Pena with a high pop kick, and look at that, it just dies in the oh, turf. John Paul recovers. My goodness, they might tie this ball game up in just the final minute of the half. So the Centurions looking to do it here, Oliva. Looking for a big play. He goes deep, but London's Thomas Burkholder puts an end to the drive. The INT went in the half. So London was poised to get the win, and they looked as if they would late into this game, but we saw the final. Check this out. John Paul II comes back. Oh, excuse me. London hangs on for the win. Last I saw, John Paul wound up getting the win, but London hangs on for the win. We'll, we'll take a look at that, that final for yep. sure. Yeah, uh, you know, what a game. Those two teams, uh, you know, London uh, yeah. is what made, I believe, something like five straight playoff appearances. And John Paul, Andrew Leon's team has really been solid this year. You know, they had yeah. that big uh, comeback against Skidmore as well. They, the comeback kids, what we could call yeah. them. They Multiple times this season, they've gone down early. We saw it tonight against London. Uh, we need to double check that final, make sure that is yep. the final out there, but if that is the case, they still fought back in this one and yeah, made it exactly. a close ball game. Uh, you and know, can't talk about San Diego enough. Yeah, I went out there. Coach Ochoa was preaching to me, preaching to me. We are not rebuilding because they lost yep. a lot of talent from last year. And look at them go this season. You know, they got it done tonight. A really impressive second half performance from them. Uh, three scores, I think, in the second half. So, you know, the, like you said, the Vaqueros are going to be the real deal in that district. Yeah, look out. All right, so we uh, got the Veterans Memorial Eagles band last mm -hmm. night. They beat uh, King yesterday. So take a listen to the Eagles band. Take a look at your scores.
Thank you. 